D from the shotgun, two eyes to the left, takes the snap, looking left, steps up, throws a crossing pattern, caught by Durham at the 30, has a first down, 35-40 right sideline as he sprints to the 45 and a gain of around 20 on a little dump on a crossing pattern to Travis Durham and his seventh catch of the year. Yeah, Durham from Mississippi High School, a sophomore wideout. Came into today's game, six catches for 60 yards. Shotgun snap, back to throw, throws it left side, caught by Barton. First down, 35 to the 40, as Jared Barton made a nice extended play with the ball thrown above his hand, all the way up to the 42, and a gain of 26. Yeah, great job by Barton beating his cornerback on the line, and even better throw by Andrew D to hit Barton in stride right to the 44. 16th catch of the year for Barton, who is becoming a very, very promising receiver for the Thunder after he played running back his first two years. Two wide receivers put out to left side. Bruce in the game for the first time in the slot for the Bulldogs. Back to throw, looking right, feeling pressure and sack. The Thunder smack him down to the turf right across the gut. It looked like Jim Weston on the play for the Thunder. Posey and Nitz also emerge from the pile as the Bulldogs are sacked for a league-worst 19th time this year. And the Thunder Force upon the black and blue border brawl, folks. It's in big effect already. Two possessions for each team and no points. No score with 3.15 to go in the first. They officially gave half a sack each to Derek Posey and Louis Denisi on that play. And for Derek Posey, that is his first career sack. Denisi only adds to his career record. Third down and two for the Bulldogs from the Thunder 43 right hash. No score with 54 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Darren Tenney, seven touchdowns, one interception this year. Comes from the shotgun with Hartline wide to the left. And Brown in the backfield. Takes a snap, hands it off to Brown, shifts to his left, and he stood up and ripped down at the line of scrimmage as the Thunder stop him short. Absolutely no gain at all for Brown. As Marco Thomas in on the stop along with Denisi and Wolf. 10.43 remaining second quarter. D sets back from the shotgun with three wides and two to the right. Gun in the backfield. Shotgun snap. Pulls the pocket to the right. Running. Throws across his body. Complete. First down past the 35-yard line. As the stomach first to the 37 is Jared Barton with his second catch of the day. And a gain of 14. Gage corner short side right with Durham to the wide side left. Gage being double teamed the entire day, still looking for that first catch. Straight eye formation. Back to throw his D. Slings it. Center of the field. Gage corner. And he slides down and makes the catch. Across midfield at the 46. A gain of 14 as corner went low. Picked that ball off the turf. Made his first catch of the day and a gain of 14. A great job by corner, though, to go down, slide, make the catch, and put two hands underneath the football to make sure it's successful. Nothing, nothing game. Nine minutes and eight seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Fourth down and about a foot. The Thunder are going for it in a nothing, nothing game with seven minutes and 46 seconds remaining before half. Yeah, scoreless game. Obviously outside of field goal range. Double tight end set. Corner to the wide side right. Parbrek and gun in the straight eye formation. Andrew D comes from under center. Fourth down around a foot or two. Snap, handoff, gone to the left side, fight for it, cut back, first down for the Thunder as he smashes into the Bulldogs past the 35, carries them down to the 33, and a gain of four. D stands from under center, receives the snap, gives it to Gunn, headed to the right, has the room, he's at the 30, cut back to the right side, 25, and he's close to a first down, spilled near the first down marker at the 24, as Richard Gunn zigzag his way to the right, and he's about a yard shy. Third down and one for the Thunder in field goal range for the Bulldog 25. At 5.46 to go before halftime. Nothing, nothing game. And Tyler Keck leads the entire nation in field goals with 13. There is a little bit of a cross breeze right now, though, going from Keck's right to his left about 5 to 10 mile an hour. This will be... A 45-yard attempt for Tyler Keck. His career long is 40 yards. Ball near the middle of the field. Keck, the All-American kicker. The snap, the hold, the kick by Keck. Low, straight, and he nails it. Tyler Keck out sails the 
upright by about two feet across the crossbar. And with 5.14 remaining of the second quarter, a career high for Tyler Keck, a 45-yard field goal, and it gives the Thunder a 3-0 advantage. Straight out formation, Packard this time in at fullback. Play fake, D back to throw, center of the field, post pattern caught, leaping into the air, first down for Jared Barton, across midfield, and down to the Bulldog 33 as Jared Barton gains 23. Shotgun snap to Tenney, play fake, rolls left, looking, and sack! The Thunder ripping down with Aaron Wolf and Lewis Denisi. They sandwich him back at the 13, and a big-time loss for the Bulldogs. Yeah, it's just one of those things where the clock in the head of the quarterback, Aaron Tenney, has to go off. He has to get rid of the ball, but Denisi and Aaron Wolf swarm in, both picking up half a sack. Seven-yard loss, Aaron Wolf. Came in with six career sacks, and Denise now has 19, which is an all-time trying record. Straight eye formation, handoff gun, short side sweep to the left side, up to the 40, a stiff arm, and a step out for Richard Gunn. As he fights all the way up to the 42, a gain of seven, and Richard Gunn has gone over 100 yards for the sixth consecutive game. And good job by Richard Gunn to try and make this third down and short of manageable down the distance. And Gunn very, very close to becoming the third 1,000-yard rusher in Trine University history. 14-3 to Bulldogs with 14.06 to play. Third and three for Trine for their own 42 left hash. Corner left, Durham right. Snap, straight eye formation. Gunn with the carry. Cuts it inside. Carries a Bulldog for a first down as he smashes into the pile all the way up to the 48. And a gain of six for Richard Gunn. And 109 yards on the day. Durham and Barton to the right side. Corner to the left. And probably the biggest play of the day for the Tri Thunder offense. Zach has tight left. Gunn in the backfield. D from the shotgun. Ball at their own 20-yard line, takes the snap, back to throw, throws it, caught by Gunn, left side, 25 to the 30, and Richard Gunn across the left sideline has a first down as he smacked down. That's a 31 and a gain of 11. That's a good job, though, to Gunn to get out of bounds to stop the clock temporarily. Second catch of the day for Richard Gunn in the 11th of the year. Trying right back to the line of scrimmage, snap, throws it, slant, caught to the 40-yard line. Zach Hess extends the pigskin for another first down across the left side and a gain of 12. Durham and Barton to the right side with corner to the short side left. Hess is tight left with gun in the backfield and... Andrew D., the old stater from Macomb, Ohio, takes the shotgun snap. Back to throw, lob pass across midfield. Sideline, Gage Corner, and he made the catch. A double coverage against Gage Corner. He leaps into the air, plucked that ball away against two or three defenders. He was crashed into and smacked down to the turf at the 36. A first down for the Thunder. And a gain of around 22, but it appears as though corner may still be down across the left sideline. Trying right back at it. First down and 10 for the Bulldog 35, trailing at 14-3. Back to throw. Caught by Hess again at the 30. Breaks the tackle. Spills forward as they take his feet from out from under him. Down to the 26. And looks to have enough for a first down, and he does in a gain of 11. 4.46 to play. The Thunder run up the line of scrimmage. First down and 10. D back to throw again. Throws the left side. Caught again by Zach Hess. Dives forward across the left pass to the 30. And a gain of round six. Trine is going for it, folks. Down 14 to three with four minutes and 19 seconds to play. Fourth and five. Back to throw is D. Stops. Looking. Flush from the pocket. He rolls right. Throws it up and back foot. Caught. Hess to the 10. First down to the five. And Zach Hess. Smashes in to Adrian Players down to around the five. A gain of 15 and a first down for the Thunder. Now the Thunder go for it. Fourth down and goal for the five, trailing at 14 to three with 3.44 to play. Snap back, rolling right is D. Stops right sideline, throws it across his body. Goal line touchdown this time for the Thunder. Caught it two yards deep across the middle of the end zone. And the Thunder trail this game at 14 9. So a touchdown catch by Jared Barton, and that's the first of his career. Aaron Tenney back in to engineer the offense. Comes with a shotgun with Hartline and Delaney to the left side with Smock set left. First and 10 from the Trine 49 near the base of the Blue Thunder tee at midfield. 
Teddy takes the shotgun snap, turns around, hands it off to Robinson, fights for it. Posey grabs him. He's knocked down with a parallel sidestep with James West. West tears him down as Robinson <laughs> gets up and a gain of around one or two. 